Hey everyone, it's Brandon here with Roadrunner Sports and today we're gonna to talk about our six favorite hiking shoes of 2021. And we're gonna have different reviewers chime in on their favorite shoe and we're gonna share our thoughts with you. If you're looking for a lightweight max cushion shoe, look no further than the Hoka Anacapa GTX. It's super cushioned and it's gonna protect your ankles from anything getting into your shoe, so it's perfect for the trails. Let's kick it off to Andrea, Molly, and Sydney, who all tested this shoe out a few weeks ago. Today I have on the Hoka Anacapa Mid, and I'm going to tell you what we love about this shoe in less than 60 seconds. I love the shoe because it's super comfortable hiking truly all day in these will be no problem walking over big rocks and little um, pointier rocks is not going to be an issue and it's like walking on clouds the pull tab on it it's super easy to get on my foot and when I'm hiking around I can carry them on my backpack so it's super versatile I love the lugs on the bottom. I can go up and down the side of rocks, no slipping. I feel super secure in my footing. Absolutely love these shoes. Was that less than 60 seconds? Yes, we nailed it. If you're looking to get moving out there on the trails, check out the Merrill Moab Speed. It's our best lightweight hiking shoe and Sean is gonna give you the goods on that one. Hey everyone, Sean here with Roadrunner Sports. Let's talk about the Merrill Moab Speed. Now besides reminding me of my favorite places to hike, pretty much anywhere in Utah, this is a low cut, lightweight hiker from the Moab Collection by Merrill. Now I've taken it for about 20 miles, though not continuous, and these are the things I know you're gonna love about it. The Merrill Moab Speed has a 10 millimeter drop, weighs about 11.5 ounces for men, 10 and a half ounces for women, and has 100% recycled laces and a mesh lining. That's super cool. Now the cut is just right for a low cut hiker. No pressure rubbing at all on your ankles. This does run a little on the big side. I'm normally a 12 and I probably would have been fine in an 11 and a half. Though the extra space was appreciated on some of the hillier hikes. Now it's certainly supportive for a neutral shoe. And although there's plenty of cushion, it does run a little on the firm side. This however is pretty nice for rough terrain and you won't feel any of the rocks underfoot on most of the rocky trails. Now lastly, the traction is fantastic, which is kind of important in a hiking shoe. The lugs are spaced evenly, has a Vibram outsole, and it's super grippy and responsive for all terrain. Now, I haven't worn a lot of Merrill shoes in the past, but I will certainly be adding this one to my collection. And you're gonna love the Moab Speed as well. Go take it out for a test run today. Now, if you're looking for the most breathable shoe, something to take out on hot days, check out the Merrill Moab 2 Ventilator. And that's a shoe that I reviewed, and you can check that out now. Now, I'm typically someone who goes on my hikes with trail running shoes. Um, this is the first time I've actually been out with trail hiking shoes, and I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. With trail running shoes, I'm always a little bit worried that the stack height is a bit too high and I'm gonna roll an ankle, so it's always, I never have that total peace of mind. So, the Merrill Moab 2 Ventilator was actually a really pleasant surprise when I tried it out. It is one, super breathable, which you'll find in your running shoes, of course, but for a hiking shoe, that's not that common. They're typically really well bound with, uh, with the material, so that nothing is gonna be poking in. This one, as you can see, See, has a bit more ventilation in it but you still have all that protection up here on the toe guard and the material is very very durable this is some sort of this is some sort of thick hide which is going to withstand everything you can throw at it it's a really great comfortable shoe you'll find that on the outsole it has a really durable outsole it's kind of rigid so you're not going to have any insecurity when you're stepping on the uneven terrains and it has great cushion here in the heel because as we know we're striking on our heels when we're walking a lot and this is a super comfortable shoe i can't recommend it enough if you're someone who terrain doesn't scare you at all you hit all the trails you don't know what you're going to do next check out the solomon x ultra 3. all right so first let's talk about the specs you're getting an 11 millimeter drop and for weight you're saying 12.9 ounces for men and 11.6 ounces for women you're also getting a contra grip outsole, a quick lacing system, a rubber toe cap here that helps you from any uh, twigs or any rocks that you might run into and stub your toe in, and then an ortholite sock liner on the inside for comfort. As for fit, so this shoe fits like a trail running shoe, so it's light and pretty quick on your feet. Uh, the only thing is that the base is stiffer, which gives you that protection that you want from a trail shoe. It for sizing, I would say these, this does run pretty big. I 
do have quite a bit of room. So if you're someone who wants a snug fit, I would size down. And if you're someone who likes a little extra room, I would just order your regular size and you should be fine. Um, as for performance, I really like this Contra Grip outsole. As you can see, it has this multi-directional lug pattern. The top here is pointing upward, so that's helping you grip and keep going on the trail. But if you need to come to an abrupt stop or anything, this pattern is pointing down, so it's gonna help you stop there. Hold on, put the phone down. I know you're just about to send a text to your friends and say, hey, who wants to go on a hike this weekend? Well, the best day hike shoe around is the Solomon XA Pro 3D V8. And Sydney has put some miles in the shoe and she's gonna share with you her favorite things about it. If you have medium to high arches like I do, the Solomon XA Pro 3D V8 is definitely gonna be one of your go-to hiking shoes. So one of my favorite features about this shoe is actually the Solomon Quick Lay system. If you see right here, just pull and you see how tight that lace is up. It's super easy to get on your foot and get it off your foot, but it also gives you that super locked in feel. Another thing I really love about this shoe is that it's super versatile. So I live right next to a couple of trailheads and sometimes I'll rather walk there or jog there rather than driving up. And it's really good for both, I say, on and off the trails. You can see the lug system here. They're pretty deep, but not too invasive. So it's not gonna feel too clunky if you're just walking on paved roads. Lastly, I think this shoe just has the great balance between cushion and protection. I think it's a super cushioned ride, but the 3D cast just also makes it really stable at the same time. So you're never gonna feel, you know, kind of rocky on any like rocky terrain, anything wet, stuff like that. So it's really gonna keep you locked in. Now, if you're someone who's a little bit more laid back and doesn't mind your feet getting a little bit dirty on the trails and you're looking for a sandal, look no further. Our best hiking sandal is the Hoka One One Hopara. Let's hear from Evelyn and see what she thought about this sandal. The Hoka One One Hobara is the perfect hiking sandal for any trail that you might be taking that you'll encounter water in. This shoe dries very quickly. It feels great. The air flows through and you don't have to worry about slipping because the outsole is also incredible. It's sticky and then you also get these multi-directional lugs that will help you grip anything underneath you. This is a great shoe, it's extremely comfortable, and I definitely recommend it for any water crossing that you might come across on the trail. All right, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to our best hiking shoes video of 2021. We hope you're really making every mile count and getting out there on the trails and just exploring, getting outside, getting some fresh air. And if you wanna try any of these shoes out with no risk at all, if you're a Roadrunner Sports VIP, you get 90 days to try these shoes out. You can wear them, love them, take them on as many trails as you can within that time period. And if you don't love them, you can send them back to us and we'll find you a better shoe that fits your needs. And if you're shopping with us online, you also get free shipping on all your shoes. So there's no risk, try it out, and we'll see you guys out there on the trails.